And then, as though one of those breaths has become a wind, they collapse into piles of gray powder, shimmering just a little until nothing is left but a few specks of glitter, the sparkle of the diamonds like traces on the carpet, beautiful even in death. And that passage to me, even though they're talking about diamonds here, dissolving because of magic, um, reminded me of snowflakes falling on, especially like a warmer pavement where it just falls and glitters in the sky, falling and then just melts and dissolves instantly on the ground. I just loved that passage so much. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, Escape from the Literary Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be talking about the embroidered book by Kate Hartfield. I gave this book five out of five stars. I absolutely loved everything about this book. Um, and I'll talk about why in just a minute. But first, let me give you a spoiler free summary of this book. This is a historical fantasy, which is becoming one of my favorite genres or subgenres, I guess, um, in literature. I absolutely love it. This book takes place in, well, starts in 1768. Charlotte, the daughter of the Habsburg Empire, arrives in Naples to marry a man she has never met. Her sister, Antoine, is sent to France and in the mirrored quarters of Versailles, they rename her Marie Antoinette. Yes, that Marie Antoinette. The sisters are alone but not powerless. When they were only children, they discovered a book of spells, spells that work with dark and unpredictable consequences. In a time of vicious court politics of discovery and dizzying change, they use the book to take control of their lives. But every spell requires a sacrifice, and as love between the sisters turns to rivalry, they will send Europe spiraling into revolution. And it was that description, plus the beautiful, beautiful cover that just had me diving straight into this book. I loved everything about it. I gave it five out of five stars. So first, let me get my gush out of the way. I love this book so much. It was written so well. I never wanted to stop reading. I just kept wanting to turn, turn, turn the pages to find out what was going to happen next. Emotions were high, but our hopes were even higher. Now let me talk some specifics. This book had great character work and development. They felt like actual characters instead of just people from history that are on pages, which sometimes works well, sometimes doesn't. It worked very well in this book. We've got a fantastic plot line of the, you know, rivalry between Charlotte and Antoinette that starts and expands and keeps going. We've got a great balance of history and fantasy or magic. It feels like each one drives the the other. History, the history of it all drives the magic and the magic drives the history and one doesn't really outshine the other on the page and it just feels so well done. There are so many intricate details in this book that it's perfect for rereads because there's so much to unpack. I can't wait to reread this book someday because I know there is so much more to unpack than I got in the first read because the first time I was reading it, I was just enjoying the atmosphere of it and the history of it and just reading it to find out what would happen next. Um, but on rereads, there's so much to unpack. There's so many different layers of this. It was absolutely incredible. Five out of five stars for it. I can't wait to reread it. And if you're a fan of historical fiction, history, fantasy, magic, and history, you would absolutely love this book. It's a big book, but it goes fast and it just is absolutely amazing. So if you've read the embroidered book by Kate Hartfield, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this book. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Um, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. There's no pressure to join, but we have a ton of fun at both. Keep reading and I love y'all to the moon and back. Bye.